Hello, CFA Nation. Gabe. <laughs> and Nick, the wicket keeper, you're on the other side now. <laughs> you know, I pointed the bathroom. It don't work that way. What's going on? Guys, oh, man. Oh, man. As you see, I'm wearing my Bayside jersey, a.k.a. This was the first jersey because West Indies is burgundy that I that I wore when the West Indies played their very first test match when I fell in love with cricket. You know what I'm man. saying? I got my West Indies hat. You know why? Because the West Indies were in the house today. Oh, man. Uh, uh, uh. Get it. Get it. 41-year-old Chris Gale, have we not been calling for this guy from the beginning of the season, screaming to the heavens? Oh, man, before we forget, once again, this is another installment of R3 Wickets. Oh, there it is. He gave it to us, ladies and gentlemen, just, oh, deliberately. I love it. I love it. Nick, I, I obviously, I got a lot to say. I'm going to let you go first, though, because I don't. I want to make sure I don't steal your thunder. But, man, all I got to say is about time people start paying attention. All right, people? About time. You got to be kidding me. Go back and look at all, 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 and I mean all of their losses. Huh? A guy, an old man that just came off the bench and gave you 50 runs, you don't think that maybe he might have helped you when you lost by two runs when you couldn't – the last game, what was it, that they couldn't get covered three runs, I think it was, at the very end, last over, they lost by like a run? Come on now. Nick, preach. Let him know. What did you like? Uh, well, I, I'm going to start with what I don't like because this match, I'm actually, I'm actually going to start off with what I learned. You know that? Because th this is what I learned because there's a lot that I learned in this match. And, and it's interesting because Gabe had some similar thoughts too. So this is what I've noticed. I learned that captaincy is huge in the IPL, probably all of cricket, but we're talking about the IPL right now. Absolutely huge. Do, does everyone realize that Kings 11 has the best opening partnership this year? If not, probably one of the best of all time. These guys are one and two, KL Raul and Mayank, respectively, one and two for the orange cap on the same squad in the opening partnership all year. And they had won one game. How do you have the best opening? That's the most important thing in your lineup is an opening partnership. These guys have a bazillion runs between the both of them. Today, what happened? You got 42. I got 48. Mayank went out with 48. And that was a bad match for this guy. This guy's a monster. How in the world did Kings 11 only have two points up to this match before this match happened with the greatest opening partnership this year? To your point, how in the world do we – oh, we can't do Chris Gale. He's old. He can't field. He's a filling liability. Filling liability? This guy wrecked the game. We've been talking about RCB having four guys in their squad. Kings 11 only needed three and was six from Perron for crying out loud. Captaincy, Matt. KL Raul is an amazing batsman. This guy is leading for the orange cap. This guy is insane. This guy went off again today for 61. He's got, and this is going to be controversial. You ready for this game? Give it to me. I learned that he's probably the worst captain in the IPL. That's right. I said it. Well, Ooh. second worst. Can't forget about Dinesh. Okay, I was about to say, oh, Dinesh, bro, Dinesh, yeah. Karthik, bro. I, I, I wanted to bring my point home, but that was going too far. The second worst captain, maybe the worst because the record. Dinesh has got a few wins under his belt, even though he can't perform. Despite because A.L. Raul can perform, and his team has one win. They didn't even have Cottrell today. I don't know why. Maybe he was injured. I haven't. Maybe they dropped him. This guy's, one of their best, this guy's their best bowler. He's got to be the worst, if not the second worst captain in the entire IPL. They have one win, and they have that roster, and they have a decent amount of uh, bowlers as well. They have Chris Gale sitting on the bench, and this guy dropped a 53 in his first match. He hasn't played since January, ladies and gentlemen. You know what else I learned? This, and, that, and that was a great move. Bring in Gale, make him number three. Oh, but he's an opening partnership. Not on this squad. You're not getting the number one and two spot. Virat Kohli made some bad moves today. Captain, see, that's what I learned. RCB side, here it comes. 
I'm an RCB fan. That's my secret love. That's my second team. And I'm not even mad that they lost today. They just got beat by Kings 11. I'm not even mad. But this is what I am mad about. This is what I'm disappointed about. There's two calls that Coley made. Huge calls. Okay? First call. They get an early wicket from Finch. What else is new? At least he got 20 runs this time. Right? <laughs> Before that, an early wicket from Patticle. He got him 18. He had a huge decision. And what he decided, he gambled with A.B. De Villiers. We're going to save him for the death. I'm guessing that's what he was thinking. That's what everyone in the viewer, the comment section was saying. Right. We're going to save him for the death because this guy's going to go off. This guy owns um, Jordan. <laughs> we'll get to him later, right? This guy owns Jordan. We're going to save him for the death. And you bring in a Sundar, you bring in a Dubay before you, before you bring in um, A.B. De Villiers. They couldn't score runs in after the 10th over, ladies and gentlemen, after the 9th over. They couldn't until the 19th over. From the 11th over to the 19th over, they scored like 35 runs. You got to be kidding me. Okay? You gamble with A.B. De Villiers, and what happened? The guy saw five balls. He's down for two. Now, you're going to say, how can you blame Coley for that? He went out himself. How can I blame Coley for that? He should have been there earlier. You're going to give me two. At least give it to me earlier because we saved you. We killed. I don't even want to get into it. I think that was a bad move. The second bad move. The horrible move was in the 16th or 17th over. Coley was discussing it with a few of his guys. Who do we bring in this over? Who do we bring in this over? You know, Kings 11, we got to slow them down. We've been slowing them down. Who do we bring in? We got Morris that can go. We got Shahal that can go. We got Udana that can go. Let's bring in Siraj. Yeah, let's bring in Siraj. They talked about, they overthought it too much. And what did Siraj do after Kings 11 had finally slowed down? They had a three over and a four over. What did they do? He gave up 20. He let Chris Gale go off. Chris Gale, I love this guy. We Amen. love this guy. I have nothing against Chris Gale. This guy's got some amazing videos that we've reacted to. We have been fanboys since the beginning, and I was loving his performance, even though I'm rooting for RCB. He gave up 20. And then you bring in a Morris, and you bring in a Shahal. And, oh, I'm sorry. They gave up nothing when they came in. Yeah. Nothing. There was one point where it was eight runs on 15 balls. He came to the last ball. We get a dot right now. It's a super over. Horrible move. Overthought it completely. Completely overthought it. Captaincy in this match. I'm not going to say won or lost, but captaincy. That's what I learned. I hope that made sense. Gabe, you go wherever you want. I went to where we learned, but we'll go wherever you want. You know what? Here's what I learned. I'm not going to say I learned that Chris Gale could back because I knew it. I've been talking about it since the beginning. Last the thing boss. You, the boss. The universe boss. All right? I've been saying this since the beginning. The last thing you lose is power. So that's not even, that's neither here or there. That's not, you're right, captaincy. But this is how I look at captaincy different. I want to say, and I know what Barack Coley was thinking. He was thinking, oh, they bought in Chris Gale. I don't want to, when we're talking about uh, um, his bowling decisions, Chris Gale destroys spinners. So he kept trying to get his pace guys up there because he didn't want to see, uh, uh, he wanted to have the pace guys go against Gale. And Gale, to his credit, was patient, defended a lot. At one time, his 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 rate was like under 50 or 60, something like oh, that. Oh, it was abysmal, but it doesn't matter. But I'll let you waste those guys because eventually you got to come with those spinners. You got to come with those spinners. And Coley went away from, in my opinion, the strength of their team because he got too cute, all right? There, he, he tried to think about it. I don't think Coley expected Chris Gale. Nobody at this point expected Chris Gale. And when he saw him out there, it was like, Oh boy. You know what I mean? Like I, it threw off his plan. Never go away from what your strength is. And I hate when other coaches do that. You see it in all other kinds of sports. Oh, you're falling into their game. Play your strength. If they beat you at your strength, they beat you at your strength. But this is what we talked about in test. Captain Steve matters so much in cricket. It's too much responsibility. It honestly is. You're, there's strategic timeouts that your coaches could take to coach on the field. There's hand signals they can do to tell you who they want in there. Somebody's got to help that captain out because there is way too much pressure. Nick is right. Uh, I think it was, who was talking about it? Bugle was talking about, is the captaincy even getting to uh, K.O. Rahul's uh, batting? Because he had a couple few uh, performances where it was not his normal performance. There's a lot of stress, a lot of pressure when you're a captain. A lot of politics go into it as well. You know, you drop this guy, now that dude's mad at you. You drop this dude, oh, is it because, you know, he's an international player or whatever? You're afraid of him taking your captaincy spot, which is what I think is going on with uh, Dinesh Karthik, by the way. But 
with with that being said, you know, uh, captaincy matters. And today, not only did Chris Gale win, but I felt like Coley did lose because he, A, pushed back his spinner because he was afraid of letting, you know, uh, of letting Gale unleash on him. And it threw off. You never look. I mean, look at uh, um the 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 bowlers. OK, Nick, when's the last time Chahal didn't get all four overs? When's the last time Chahal? He's your top guy. He, he only gets three overs here. He only gets and three listen, overs. Uh, let, let me let me talk to that point because I know it's coming. And when we do these videos, we make these intentionally for you to react and comment. What I mean by that is not that we make up stuff so that you'll react to that. No, we want the we want the conversation to go on. Okay, mm-hmm. we say these things open ended so that you respond and so that we can have that conversation. Shahal was lit up the first two overs. We've seen that kind of Shahal. But when it comes down to the end of the day, wouldn't you yeah. rather die with that flag on Shahal and not Siraj? Agreed. No offense to Siraj. I'm sure he's a great Agreed. guy. I'm going with my horse. And what did Shahal show you at the Emmy side before that six that Perron got? Come on. Yeah. And, and, and even Udana, you know what I mean? You could have put in there, like, I think he went away from his strength. And that happens because he was too worried about what the other team was doing and not what his team is doing. Okay. Second, KL Rahul. I said I mentioned it. The pressure on this guy is immense. You bring in Gale, and all of a sudden you got Peron, and that stretches out your 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 batting lineup. Okay, when Argawolf usually falls, it's like okay, now Peron's got to stay there forever because after that is nobody basically. All right, but no, now Gale went up there, and you saw the intelligence of Gale. A couple times they were trying to bait him, and he did what we always say: take the wide. Let if it's wide, let it. Oh, it's not. It's a dot. It was a good ball. Cool. Let it he go. I'll live to fight another. He showed his professionalism, and that's what experience gives you—the professionalism. You know what I mean? Captaincy matters. Honestly, I I, I agree with you. Ko Rahul has hurt his team as far as being a captain because if he had put hit in Chris Gale from the very beginning, and I mean from the very beginning, you know what I'm saying? Just look at the games they've lost by how many runs. You telling me this guy gave you 50 off the bench, hasn't played since January, and he couldn't at least average 20 runs a game? Think about what they've lost by. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go back and give it to you. First game, uh, it was a second match, they uh super over, right? Against the Delhi Capitals, 157, 157. Next game, uh, they blew out actually the your boys RCB. Okay, yep. next game. 232, I mean, two, I mean, 223, sorry, 226. They lost by three runs. So two games, they lost one by one run, the first one, because that went to a super over, and the next one by three runs. Next game, let me go ahead and look this up, 148 to 149. They got blown out that one by um uh, your Mumbai Indians, so that probably, Gail wouldn't have made a difference there. Next game, um they lost to my boys, 178, 181. Again, 178, 181, three runs. You're telling me Gale wouldn't have had a difference in some of those games? We're not just talking here. I know, bro, it's stats. And that's what I think. Somebody told me, and I mentioned it in another video, and I'm going to mention it again. And I say this tongue in cheek, but if, 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 if RCB, actually not RCB, I'm not a fan, C, CSK, uh, 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 KKR, you guys want some help? Let me know. I'll give you sabermetrics. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Go back and go through the entire 10 years. That's what Sabermetric is. 10 years of games in the IPL. Look at what batsmen do. Look at what bowlers do. The difference in the metrics, baseball teams realize defense doesn't even matter anymore. Okay? What matters, Nick? What wins you games? Say it loud. Say it proud. Just like he said. Why do we, why, why do we like him? Because he... I don't know what you're going for. I'm sorry. <laughs> bro, from a, a, a money ball, Brad Pitt's line. He oh, because he gets on base. Don't make me point base. to Pete. Don't make me point to Pete. Pete. Gets, he on, gets base. on base. Which means it, 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 it's basically the same thing. You get a run. <laughs> Who produces runs? Did you realize Chris Gale had three? I, I think they showed 3,000 more than the second place guy. Are you this kidding? He loves to score runs. Are you kidding? He gets runs. Forget about all oh, he's a defensive liability. Tons of guys are defensive liabilities. It doesn't matter. Can your guy can you put up more runs than the other team? That's all that matters. It's simple as that. And I can't believe that it's got to take to this point in the season to get this guy in. There better be some conversations right now. There better be some conversations with the selection committee, with KO Raul thinking, what were we thinking? 
we got too cute. We got too cute. They did a poor job. That's what I learned, and I agree with you. Now, what did I love? I love this victory, not because it was against RCB, even though I did, because they dropped in the points table, and that's your secret love, but because it proved my point. If it was, let's say, your boy Argawal and your boy um, um, Kale Rahul that came out and did the same thing CSK did the other day, and it was just both of them batting and clobbering, and they would have won that way, it wouldn't have been as satisfying as if it was Chris Gale. Why? Because the guy proved... What are you guys talking about? Yeah, I'm 41. I'm old, but I can still hit. I can still hit. I forget how to do that. That's the last thing you forget how to do. You putting in these, these young guys, these rookies get ahead of me? Really? Let me go ahead and punish you. And it wasn't the sixes. I love the sixes, Nick. But it was, what do yeah. we talk about? Your boy, uh, uh, Pant. The Pantonium dismissals. We've seen them all the time. Okay. K my boy. Oh my gosh. CSK. Who got dismissed in the Pantonium dismissal the other day? On a wide ball, he should have let go. And somebody said that wasn't a wide game. Okay. Then it was very basically a wide. It was he was reaching for it. You're not gonna be able to power that ball out. Let it go. If it's not taking out the stumps, let it go. How many balls yeah. did you see the Gail today? Just okay, let it go. That's a good tip your hat. Good job. I tell my son as a baseball player that that, that the, all the time. Sometimes a guy make their pitch. Tip your hat. If he jams you, don't swing because you're going to pop it up or you're going to ground out. You're going to roll over. Take the pitch. Oh, wow. All right. Good pitch. And I saw that from Gail. With, like with a smile on his face. A couple of balls, bro. He let go and he just looked at him like, nice ball. I got another one. I live to fight another day. And that is professionalism. That's the, 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 the experience of a batsman. I love Gail's performance. I loved it. Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, bro, th that's what I loved. What did I love on the RCB side? You know what? I got to say, this, this right now, when you look at RCB, you got your top guys, right? And who's the most consistent guy up there? At first, it was Patrick carrying them, then Finch. Did you realize your boy Coley now is like top five or six in the league? He had a few slow games, and then, oh, my gosh, this guy scores 48, 50s like it's easy. Look, his number four, baby, number four. His consistency is ridiculous. He did his job as far as a player's concerned, not as far as a coach, as far as a player's concerned. So I'm going to tell you right now, man, Coley, I was I, – I, I, now I know – what the what the what the talk about like yo this dude's you know in all three formats you know what I mean he's one or two he's three holy cow this guy can play but to your credit Nick you already mentioned it earlier he felt his team as a coach guys it's way too much responsibility that's what you're paying Ricky Ponting and uh who are all these big name coaches who's a coach for RCB um ah mm. oh, I cannot remember but Why let you do this to me I know. Let, let somebody from the outside in that's sitting back and looking, surveying the land, so to speak, make that decision and say, no, why are we going against our strength? If he's going to hit, let's lose with your haul. Don't try. Don't put that on a player. I'm telling you, captaincy in cricket has got to be the worst position in all professional sports because it's all on your shoulders, man. It's all on your shoulders. And you're going to be the hero one day and you're going to be the goat the next day, even if. Today, we should be gushing about Coley with 48, almost a 50, a strike rate of 123. Now he's moved up to, what, fourth or fifth in, a, in, in overall runs for the season. But what are we talking about? His bad decisions. His Bro, captaincy is way too much pressure. But again, I loved his performance offensively. You know, that's what I liked about RCB. If they win, it's going to be because of Coley, because Finch, he's been shaky a few times. Radical, this was the first time I saw him be as shaky as he was. But I just do not comprehend what he did, and I'll get that to what I don't like later. I know you mentioned it already as far as the billiards goes. With that being said, Nick, you tell me, you on you, what did you like? First, let me start off with, I, I, I've got to say it. I've got to give credit when credit's due. There's one person I know that has been asking for Gale every time Kings Eleven is lost, and it's this guy right here, Okay. And you've been crushed by the people in the comments section. Oh, Gail's too old. It's not going to happen. And to your credit, you never faltered on that. I mean, that's a bonus and that's a negative, but you never faltered on that. You kept saying it. And who looks like the smartest guy in the room? My man who didn't even know what cricket was a year and a half ago. Right? Dude. Give this man some credit. If we can figure it out, if Gabe can figure it out after 18 months, and, and that's the thing. 
I'm going to start off with what I love. I, and I, I agree with you. My number one, what I love, absolutely Chris Gale. I was a fan of that performance, and I don't want him to beat my team. But how could you not be? He looked so freaking calm out there. He hasn't played in 10 months. He was cool on the other side of the pillow for crying out loud. And the <laughs> only reason he got out is because he said, man, we're not scoring runs. We're running out of balls. Let me just jack one right now. And he just didn't get enough of it. That's the only reason he got out. Oh, well, on, on the run out. On the run out. Was on the run out. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Exactly. He was going for that. You're exactly right. That's exactly right. My bad. So that was a beautiful throw too. So what I loved besides Chris Gale, KL Raul, it's going to make no sense. because I just trashed him in the last segment. This guy, he lasted the entire match. He ate the whole plate for crying out loud. That's what you need. And not just some guy who lasts the entire match, but some guy who has a strike rate of 124 lasting the entire match. He only saw 49 balls, too. Imagine that. He's lasted the entire match. He didn't even see half of the balls. Best he stayed off strike when it's time to be off strike. He went to strike, and when he went to strike, he was able to get fours. All the, This guy is leading the world right now and runs with 448. There's no one else in the 400 club. No one else. His homeboy is 60 behind. Do you realize that him and my ink have almost as many runs, the top two guys, as the three, four, and five guys, yes. almost as many runs. This is this disgusting. The riches they have. You mentioned it. They are the best partnership in opening partnership in cricket in IPL. I should say, this guy is phenomenal. And oh wait, he's not that bad of a fielder either. But the decisions have got to change. But I loved the guy had five sixes, and it wasn't like he was just six happy and oh you got me out after thirty because I was going for more sixes. No, this guy. It was masterful what he was able to do, right? He let Mayank take the, the 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 lead. He let Gale take the lead, and he was there the whole time with the 61. It was beautiful what he did, absolutely beautiful. And the time they needed the runs the most, it was a Chris Gale show, was against Siraj. That's what I loved about Kings, Kings 11. Absolutely loved it. I feel like they deserved this win. And they chased, too. Don't forget about that game. They chased, and yeah. they won. And we saw that pitch slow down, and, you know, they still chase. That's a hard thing to do right now. So this is what I failed to mention when I mentioned my A.B. de Villiers point. What I loved about RCB, since you already mentioned Coley, you know, not to say that's an easy one, but that's a really good one. Let me get to the bowlers too, real quick because they had some good bowling performances, especially from the guy I'm going to mention in a second, but Saney. I haven't seen Saney bowl this well. We couldn't get any wickets to save our lives today, but Saney, 21 and four overs. Udana, who I never trust, 14 and two overs. He just, why not throw him instead of – I mean, I just don't understand that decision whatsoever. I don't understand it. But Chris Morris, I picked him up on my fantasy squad today because I'm like, how's this guy been sitting on the bench for all this time? This guy – and this is my whole point about A.B. DeVilliers. Okay, you want to save A.B. for the death. Fine. What in the world is Chris Morris doing sitting at number seven when he can get 25 on eight balls? And I don't know if you guys saw that last over. They got 24 off Shammy, Sh- mm-hmm. right? Probably saying that name wrong. Muhammad Shaman. Muhammad Shaman. They get they got 24 off a guy who's like in fourth place for the most wickets in the entire IPL. Right. This guy's a beast. They got 24. Why? Because Chris Morris got like I think his three sixes in that over. This guy can play the death. Maybe this was an aberration. Maybe this was just absolute luck. But I have no problem doing the do you want to do you want uh De Villiers and Coley together. You want them the same partnership. I have no problem with him bringing De Villiers because we got a Chris Morris at number seven in case Dubay and Sundar can't do anything. Right. I, I just don't get it because then you get Chris Morris more balls if AB doesn't work out or Cole doesn't work out. Right. He only got eight. He had a strike rate of 300. And, oh, wait, he also can bowl really nicely. Well, he didn't get any wickets, and those wickets, oh, my God. Just getting two more wickets today would have been humongous. Huge. Two more wickets. Um, but he got 22 runs off four overs, almost as good as Saini. That's what I loved. RCB, now I got to correct you real quick. They're still number three in the in the points table because they had such a big lead with those five wins. Kings 11 didn't even like, didn't even budge at all because they're still the last spot. So far now. <laughs> Which proves my point even more about K.R. Rowles and his decisions. Um, and maybe he's not making decisions. Maybe someone's a puppet master. I have no idea. But that's what I loved. I'm going to jump right into what I disliked so we can close on a winner here. All right. There's not much to dislike for KX Kings 11 because if you watch the score 
and you're you're trying to pretend like you watched the match, you watched the score. Oh, Perron, he only got six. He's the guy I didn't like. He got one ball. Walk off six. Bye. And, and we both have crushed him a few times on this channel. One ball, super over or not. You don't think that's pressure? He didn't sweat. The guy hit a six. Goodbye. Let's get out of here. Let's go get some of that, that spread, right? What did I not like with Kings 11? I did not love the decision to have Maxwell bowl first, but the guy had a common rate of seven after four overs. So what do I know, right? You can look at Shammy and say, oh, we gave up 45 runs. The dude gave up 24 in the last one. He got two wickets. This right. guy's doing his job. I'm literally trying to find someone who I do not like. The best I can do is Bishnoy because he got no overs and gave up an economy rate of 9.7. Oh, I didn't Kings like 11. that either. He was on my fantasy team too. Come on, uh, give me a wicket, man. Kings 11 put an amazing performance for a last place team against a team that has beat Mumbai and CSK, RCB. An amazing performance. They did what they needed to do. They got the two, the two early wickets. That's what I did not like from KXI Kings. I keep saying KXIP Kings 11. There's not much to dislike. They were phenomenal. They really were. It seems like they would have won this match by 30 runs from the way they were playing. What I dis did not like from RCB Finch is killing me. He's absolutely killing me. Okay. He's just, he's an opener. You can't move an opener, Nick. You can't do it. They're so important. This guy is absolutely killing me. He does not deserve to be in that top spot, but I get it. Who else, Who are you going to replace him with? I mean, who are you going to put there? Chris Morris? No. AB? No. Who are you going to replace him with? He's got to perform. He's got to perform for his squad because his squad had an amazing last over. At one point, they were at 139 going into the 19th over. Oh, right. my God. That was a huge he, last over. Right. Yes. He needs to do much better than what he's doing. I'm not a big fan of what's going on at all. He needs to step it up. Gabe, what do you got? Okay, so what did I not like? What did I not like? First and foremost, I'm going to say it right now. I did not like that Jordan made me look bad today. I got to eat crow. <laughs> Here's my big, you know what I mean? Here's my big plate of crow, knife and fork. I'm about to eat it. Yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. You know, I had not seen Jordan perform well. Even when we watched him with the England test team, he got lit up like a Christmas tree. And he, everybody's like, he's a deaf specialist. He's a specialist of giving up runs, man. The president of the Jordan Academy. But today, he made me look bad because Jordan played well. Three overs, 20 runs. <coughs> Excuse me. He got himself a wicket, a huge wicket, too. Got himself yes. a wicket, a huge wicket. So you know what? I didn't like it because I hate admitting what I'm wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong, wrong, wrong. I, I, I keep mentioning it because my kids and my wife and kids, the only way I could get them to watch the videos is when I say I'm wrong because they love hearing it. You know how I am. So I was wrong. All right. You guys happy? Wrong. I got to admit when I'm right with Gail. So when I'm wrong, I got to admit it. And actually, I challenged and, and somebody. I, oh, who was it? Let me know. Steve. Oh, Steve. Steve. Steve, even though he did not get his four wickets, you're still going to get that swag bag. Make sure you send us a, a message on either Instagram or on Twitter. Let it, let it Give me your email so we can uh, set something up because you've had faith in him. I was like, what? This guy's crazy. Jordan got caught a wicket, right? So he got caught that wicket, ended up getting a wicket. What a performance <laughs> by Jordan. And you're like, isn't this the part you're supposed to say what you don't like? Yeah, I don't like being wrong. So I was wrong. <laughs> right? But honestly, what I did not like was Muhammad Shami, and I'll tell you why. Because he was trying so hard to get that wicket, right, to that at the end that he got lit up for 25, bro. And you could see that he was going for it. Use the strategy, okay? Don't give up 20 runs or 25, whatever it was. You know what? No problem. Keep giving them the wide. Because guess what? It's not like they get extra balls for it either. So I understand why a lot of times it's like, I can't let it go either. Why, why do they swing in it sometimes? Because even though it's a run, do you rather change uh, uh, trade one run for five? It's strategy. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I got my two wickets today. You made it way closer than it needed to be. It was 139. You know what I'm saying, Nick? Throw some wides. He was trying to come right after him. No, throw a few wides. If they give, they call it a run, they call it a run. Don't let it be a no ball so they get a free hit. But, okay, I'll give you an extra run. If I throw six wides there in that last over, and it and they're wide, not oh, not no balls, but wides, you get six runs or you're going to get yourself out. But I'm not trying to take your, your wicket and then give up 20. He almost cost the team the game. That's thinking. Come on. 
It's it it it's it, it, it's that game should not even have been that close. That's what I did not like, honestly. I was joking with the Jordan, but Muhammad Shami did not do a good job today in that death over. With that being said, with that being said, what did I not like on RCB side? We already talked about Coley's decision to leave AB the Billiards out. That to me was probably the, the killer right there. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I get what he was thinking. I get what he was thinking, but you cannot mess with a formula. I think like today he messed with every single formula that was successful. And I think that just for Coley, for whatever reason, you know, either he was just getting too cute. Maybe he looked at numbers. People were saying, well, no, he's saving A.B. De Villiers because he destroys um, uh, Jordan. He's, you know, he wants to leave him for the death. When has A.B. De Villiers ever batted that late at all this season? Never. Never. He's always the fourth guy in there. But he and to that captain. point, isn't Coley the captain of like every format and hasn't he been a captain forever? Forever. forever. Why is he overthinking this? He's been there a million times. I, I do not know. Again, not only did they bring in uh, uh, Dude, he brought in Sundar. Two dudes before he brought in A.B. De Villiers. What are you thinking? Okay, what do you, it just did not make sense. And on the bowling side, same thing, just did not make sense to me. Why are you pushing out down your good bowlers, your guys get your halls, the guys that you, you know, routinely said, just because Chris Gale's there, he kills spinners? So what? Kill my spinner. But I'm not going to give you a guy that's not as good. Chahal is the best bowler on that team. He's got the most wickets on that team. You do not lose a game or do you not go out of a game with Chahal still having an over left? That was you. You you, you, you might have – who knows? He Maybe he gave up. And I know he got lit up in, in his first two overs. But never mind the next two overs, like you say, he comes out and gets his wickets. The guy always gets one or two wickets, right? Dude. It was overthinking it. It was absolutely overthinking it. And to me, that's what I not, I didn't like because, again, you have to play to your strengths. Don't worry about what the other team is doing. Do what you do well. Don't get out of your uh, game plan. And I think that's what Cody did. He got out of his game plan. You know what I mean? But, I mean, Nick, anything else uh, uh, to add about this game other than the boss, the universe boss is back? Here's my question. And, bro, I'm going to tell you right now. Change the Twitter account. If Chris Gale does not play the next game, change the quit the Twitter account because KXI Kings Eleven official Twitter is gonna get the 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 Stephen Ridley treatment. I'ma lose it. I'ma go bananas if they sit him the next game. Oh my gosh! Change. The, I'm telling you, change the password. I, you're you've been warned right now, Nick. You know how I am, I, bro. I'll I'll be like, what is going on? Did, did, I'm sorry. Did Gail eat somebody's lunch? Did he not send a Christmas card? What did he do? What did he, did he steal somebody's lunch money? Is he uh, infected? Somebody don't want to be around him. What's going? on? It's politics. At that point, if he doesn't play, it's politics. And listen, the whole selection committee needs to get fired. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Oh, oh, I'll go nuts. Oh, I'll go nuts. Please don't let that happen. With that being said, the crying Jordan face goes to me today. So I'm gonna put it right here over my own face. Because I was wrong, and I hate being wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Steve, you were right. Jordan, okay. I will not mention the Jordan line again until, of course, he gives up another 55. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just end right here. This is a, an Instagram message sent from – I'm sorry, I can't say your name because it's in, it's in Hindi. But this guy sent this. This is what Chris Gale said. I said he says, I mean, come on. It's universal boss batting. How can I be nervous? I love how he speaks in third person. He also said, all I was saying, put some respect on the name. That's all when he's pointing to the boss, even though he's clowns. I was not happy with it. He's clowns in the commentating box. They were all like, oh, he's got it upside down. Turn that around. Bro, what do I care? The guy just dropped 53 and nobody wanted to play him. Everyone's saying, oh, you can't play him. 53, like you said. He sleeps and bounds against everyone. Else. This clown, I don't know who he is. Maybe he's your best friend. Maybe he's your dad. I don't know. But I was mad about that. Have some nah, respect dude. for this guy. Dude, Come on. You have me laughing. They're like, he hasn't played so long. He didn't realize the bat, the bat was upside down. Doesn't <laughs> but, it matter. It was, he's it was the so boss. They were like, Give him wait. Respect. He said, how many wicked alerts do you get? We've been through two-thirds of the season, and you still keep changing the rules because they kept going for the wicked alert every other inning, and it didn't happen. And then he was like, all right. 
It's a big over alert. <laughs> they started changing their there it goes. Those guys are so fun to listen this to. This guy's got his own nickname on his back. I haven't seen that before. The this ball. guy's amazing. We need him in the IPL. Thank you so much for checking us out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate you waiting for us to get this video out. We're recording it super late. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for everything. We'll be back and better than ever tomorrow. And until next time. That's six runs.